Hello everyone, and welcome to Have to Tech What Episode This Is Episode 9. This is episode 9. <clears throat> so welcome to episode 9. There's a combine raid happening. Oh, it's been way too long since I played Half-Life 2. Come here. Come here. Okay. My controls feel weird because I haven't played this game in like three months. In fact, the last Valve game I played was the, a VR one, and then before that was Portal, which is definitely not the same. And I have different settings on for Portal. Okay, die. Okay, now the door won't. It, won't, won't okay, I cannot speak. Eh. Okay. Man, I gotta turn up sound. One second. Hopefully, I'm not deafening all you guys. There we go. Hopefully, I am still audible. Oh, thanks, random dude. Just close the door on me. Like, man, you're toxic. Okay, never saying that again. I hate. Hate the fact I used modern slang. If I ever do that again, please kill me. Like, old, old modern stuff like, you know, lit, that, that's not as bad. Like, lit or hype, that's not as bad. Just, like, hit me if I say that. Don't kill me, but just hit me. Okay, jeez, stop. Wait, that's not... <laughs> oh yes, I'll use my long-range shotgun. Okay, I just realized I've never gone around back in this house. I've played through this game like three or four times, and that's part of the reason why I didn't upload an episode on it for two or three months, because I was getting tired of playing through it again. I have never gone back around. Medkit man. Take this med kit. Thank you. Okay, wait, no, this is not one where I'm supposed to go up to the lighthouse. Not yet. You know, you don't look like a medic. Why do you have medkits? Not gonna complain, but why? Why? Oh, so something I think I've decided. One second. Man, my aim is atrocious. Die! Anyway, what I think I've decided. Whenever I beat Half Life 1, well, not Half Life 1, Half Life 2, this Half Life, when I go to Half Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2, I am very heavily debating um, playing it in VR, because the VR versions are out now, and I've played through episode, well, just playing Half-Life 2 in VR, not all the way. It's fun, and I think I want to do that more, because it'll, it'll spice up Episode 1 and 2, what I need. <laughs> and not everyone has a VR headset, and I feel like that would kind of let me sew it to all you guys. Because VR is popular, but not everyone has a VR headset, and so that, that could let me spice up the game for me, and for you guys, and you know, just kind of sew you the technology, which is pretty cool. But if you don't agree with that, then please leave some feedback in the comments because I am here to play games and have some fun 
but if it's something that you guys are not enjoying at all, like no one is enjoying, then I, I won't do it, because, you know, it's kind of a, you know, a waste of time, because it's not that the videos take a lot of work to put up, but it's just that, you know, take some time. And I'm probably, you know, mentally hurting myself with how many times I've played through this game. People, some people play through it many more times. Like, there's a channel I watch, uh, Deadwater Gaming, you guys should check them out, because they're funny. Like, infinitely more so than I am. And they upload more often. <laughs> but they, um... Well, both of the guys on there have played through the game... Probably... Middle, triple did not triple digits, it's double digits. You know, for like 25, 30 times. And I can't even imagine doing that. I played through Portal a lot of times. Like, 8 or 9, but I cannot imagine playing through it like 50 times. Open the door! Open the door! Alright, now I have to do some epic pro gamer parkour. And what I might do is I'll start Half Life 2 Episode 1 in VR, but if you guys decide that you don't like it, then I can just change to desktop. Because I've completed it in in desktop, so I can just open up a new chapter and get to the right spot. But, you know, if you have an opinion on that, let me know in the comments because I want to know what you're, what you're talking about. I'm talking about what you're Don't thinking. Oh no! Laszlo! Poor, poor Laszlo, the finest mind of his generation, come to such an end. We were heading for the Fortigon camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. Without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. Laszlo. I have to do. Go ahead. Um, wait. Wait, what, what is that? <laughs> Alright, I'll stay off the sand. Look at me. Oh, oh no! I didn't mean to kill him! Oh, this is not going well. Oh dear. I just killed a man. Uh, well, at least it doesn't have to more Laszlo anymore. <laughs> oh, well, I am a murderer now. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> I have never actually gotten him killed before on my playthroughs of this. I've never stepped on the sand that fast. And so I've never actually seen him get killed. I know he could get killed. But kind of surprised at my incompetency. But basically the premise of this chapter... Uh, I touched the sand game, why are you not mad? It's to say... Uh, I cannot... I suck at speaking! Uh, to stay off the sand. Parkour! And you're supposed to gravity gun it over, but... Okay, apparently that's really far back. I was expecting it to get blasted over here. I thought I was going to be cool. I was incorrect. Why did I roll that R? I have a problem with rolling R's when I shouldn't. Does anyone else have that problem? Okay, I have enough SMG ammo. Like, 
I can get more, but I have enough. Lungs up. Oh dear. No, I don't want to. Don't want to use grenades on the thing point blank. That's a bad idea. It's a bad, 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 bad idea. Not as bad as I am at this game, though. Mm -hmm. Like, because this is in the Source Engine, I can do parkour because I do that in Gary's Mod. Because I do parkour in Gary's Mod. I have never discovered this back here. I never knew about this back here. So it seems the combine have some issues with the ant lions there as well, which is environmental storytelling, which is actually something that has already been sewn in the game because the thumpers, which you know, make them go away. But be quiet. I know you didn't say anything, but I can feel you, like mentally judging me. Like, yeah, look at LMC Scout. Stupid. And I am... I am stupid. I'm just gonna say, this thing right here though, that is the biggest and strongest platform in this chapter, and it is objectively the best to use in this chapter. And if you say otherwise, you are wrong. Well, that would have been so much easier if I had just done that myself, but I didn't, because I am lazy. Okay. Uh, and then... Barrel. Just a little annoyed now. Man, I am doing really bad at this chapter right now. I'm normally good at it, which I know sounds like a complete lie. But it's the truth, I swear. <laughs> Just believe me, guys, I'm good at this. <laughs> See you, Watts. And for anyone that is, you know, at all invested in my um, Shadow of Mordor Let's Play, I have two videos of that recorded now, and I'm going to upload them later, but I'm putting putting this up first, probably. If they, if I've already put them up now, at the time of uploading this, I actually am not saying anything at all right now. You are just hallucinating me speaking. It's just, ska it's a shared schizophrenia, we're all mad, and uh... Yeah, it's a Mandela effect. Which is honestly a very interesting thing. I find, like, well, I find a lot of things interesting, but Mandela effects and liminal spaces are two things that I just find really fascinating. And as you can see, I've basically given up on this, and I'm just going to sprint through because this is easier. <laughs> like, this is honestly easier than just going about it. Because watch, you just run over here. You run over here. And you forget that you have to power on the thumper over here. Crouch jump for more reins. But like you do that. And then the thumper starts going. look at them and I'm just gonna say I recommend 
bringing one of these barrels if you're playing through this game bring one of these barrels with you because down here is a boss fight basically and there's a lot of barrels up here so I recommend not barrels a lot of crates up here so I recommend looking through those here we go Half-Life 2 boss time let me break those open that thing right there is the boss and fun fact there's a mod on Gary's mod that adds an allosaurus and it is basically just a retextured antlion guard which is what this thing is it's just retextured and re-sounded whatever you'd call that you know Glad I didn't fire a rocket when it was running towards me. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Free man must follow. Cal along. <laughs> Not assaulting the Vortigaunt. Why would I do that? It's fine, I'm in a hazard suit. Just do it! Squeeze! I love whoever made the sound design for these. Why did they have to make it so squishy? And that's under the keybind of six. Having to go really far across the keyboard instead of scrolling. The ant lines won't bother you now, Doc. Why are you looking at me? Why are you giving me the side eye like that, dude? That's what we call the stink eye. Well, Dr. Freeman, you're a regular ant lion now. Cool. Trying to talk to her. She seems depressed. You know, I, I know what can solve your depression. Oh, right, now you're not depressed, see? I try and put a barrel on your head, and you are no longer depressed! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm glad I have video as evidence of that. Okay. Staying away from them, I think they may be haunted. Oh look at the, look at these mattresses! I'm gonna burn them. Oh, you seem to be either in pain or sleeping. Here, you look like you need another mattress. Take, take another mattress. <laughs> like how there's... Oh, is this explosive? It says it's explosive, but it isn't exploding. Oh, listen. These guys are funny. So they basically say, yeah, we'll speak in your language as long as we don't li wish to say anything unflattering about you. And then they go to speaking their own language. Squissy! Yeah, I know, dude. I've done this at least three or four times before. 
I'm in the sand. <laughs> Hello. I know, I squeeze him. Okay, you want me to do it in the pit? I'll do it in the pit. Also, I'm pretty sure it's not how you spell mannequin. Might be, but I thought it had a, like a Q in it or something. Come on, boys. Squeeze. <laughs> And it also causes them to have like a stroke. Listen to that. Sick him. Sick him. Why are you not sicking him? Okay, fine. Come on. Come on, bugs. Loading! Low adding! Get it? I'm funny. I was gonna say, look at the little blue things on the pheropods jiggling. Alright, you know, I think this is a pretty good spot to end the video just because it is really late right now. And I know the video has been going on for a while, and I don't want my video editor to crash whenever I try and edit this. So, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment, and please consider subscribing. I know it, you know, it's not much, you know, I know what I do isn't much, but it helps me out, makes the channel bigger, and I'll be honest, when I see that my videos are getting more views or more likes or getting more subscribers, I'm not kidding, that actually is encouragement for me to do more. I know a lot of people say that just to try and get people to subscribe more, but it actually does let me know that people do care about my videos to some small amount. So anyway, like I said, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.